By popular request, here is a brief explanation of how to do the Toynbee maneuver. This is how you perform the Toynbee maneuver correctly to equalize the pressure in the middle ear. Sit or stand upright. Relax and breathe in and out normally. Close your nostrils with your thumb and index finger so that no air can escape. Swallow with your mouth closed and your nose pinched. Tip. Have a glass of water to hand and take a small sip to trigger the swallowing reflex. What happens now? The swallowing reflex creates a slight negative pressure that opens the Eustachian tube and equalizes the pressure between the middle ear and the outside world. You may feel a slight cracking or popping in your ears, which indicates that the pressure equalization was successful. Repeat the exercise three to five times in a row if necessary. If you have difficulty, take a short break and try again later. When and how often should the Toynbee maneuver be performed? In everyday life, two to three times a day, especially if you feel pressure in your ears or if you have symptoms of Eustachian tube dysfunction. Preventively, before or during flights, when diving, or when there are differences in altitude, for example, when driving up a mountain. Here are some helpful tips. Stuffy nose. If your nose is blocked, a nasal rinse or a decongestant nasal spray will help make the exercise more effective. Swallow easily. If you have difficulty swallowing, suck on a piece of candy or chew gum to stimulate the reflex. If your ears don't open, don't force it. Instead, try the exercise again later or switch to the Valsalva method. I explained that to you in another video. Please like and share the video. And if you manage to equalize the pressure, I would of course be happy to receive a positive comment.